This is question two on the June 2013 calculator paper, the higher calculator paper. Okay, reading this question first, let's just go through it. It says here's a list of ingredients for making 18 mince pies. So we've got that list of eight ingredients there for making 18 mince pies. Elaine wants to make 45 mince pies. These are the ingredients she has. Does Elaine have enough of each ingredient to make 45 mince pies? You must show your working clearly. Um, you must show clearly how you got your answer. And this is a starred question. So they want me to write a sentence at the end of this. Now this is a fairly standard type question over the last few years. However, they've they've just presented this in a slightly different way. They want us to work out how many ingredients you need for 45 mince pies. So I actually always look at how many how many you can make with the ingredients they've given us, and how can I what can I do with that number to get and to create 45. So thinking about it, 18 plus 18 plus 9, that makes 45. 18, so this 18 here, another 18, and 9, 18 add 18 is 36, 36 plus 9 is 45. Now, if I work the ingredients I need for each, so for 18 mince pies, these are how many ingredients I need. For 18 mince pies, I need 2, 2, 5, 3, 5, 0, oh, 100, 280, and 1 egg. For 9 mince pies, I'm going to need half of 225. If you don't know how to work it out, use a calculator. Do 225 divided by 2, which is going to give you 112.5. So if you can't do it in your head, use a calculator. 225 divided by 2 equals 112.5. Same with 350 divided by 2 equals 175. 175. 100 divided by 2 is 50. 280 divided by 2 is 140. And 1 divided by 2 is a half. Now, what I'm going to do is to add these three 225, 225, and 112.5. And that's going to give me the ingredients for 45 mince pies. So here we go. 225 plus 225 plus 112.5 equals 562.5 grams of butter is what she needs. For flour, it's going to be 350 plus 350 plus 175 equals 875 grams of flour. Um, for sugar, we have 100 plus 100 plus 50 equals 250 grams of sugar. And for mincemeat, 280 plus 280 plus 140 equals 700 grams of mincemeat. And looking at the eggs, 1, 1, and 0.5, that's 2.5 eggs. Okay, so what they've said is Elaine has these ingredients. She has 1 kilogram of butter. 1 kilogram of butter is 1,000 grams. And is that enough? Well, she has 1,000 grams. She needs 500 562.5 grams, so yes, enough. I'm going to actually go through each of the ingredients like that and agree whether she has enough. One kilogram of flour, that's 1,000 grams of flour, and she needs 875 grams of flour. Yes, she has enough. Um, 250 grams of sugar. She has 500 grams of sugar, and she needs 250 grams of sugar. Yes, she has enough. 700 grams of mincemeat, and she only has 600 grams of mincemeat. She needs 700 grams. So, no, she, has, she does not have enough. 
And finally, the eggs. She has six eggs. She needs 2.5. She does have enough. So, what do I write for my answer through my sentence? Because over here, in this answer, this is all the workings necessary. There are several other ways you could do this. This is just one of the methods. But using this method and what I've done so far, I could write that Elaine does not have enough mincemeat um, oh sorry, mincemeat to make 45 mince pies she has enough of all the other ingredients Okay, that's sufficient to get full marks in this. There are full marks going for this question. Make sure you're okay with it, you know how to do it, and you can get full marks in it.